Hello YouTube, what is up? It's Thomas bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be making an updated video on how to get PlayStation Plus for free and a limited amount of PlayStation Plus using the 14 day trial method. So before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys about um, the playlist I have in the description. It's called Make Your PS4 Faster. I have three other videos in there that you guys should definitely check out, especially if you play Call of Duty or just want better internet and stuff like that for your PlayStation. I mean, who doesn't? So I have a video how to set up your router for gaming so you can prioritize your PS4 over everything else on your router and then how to boost your connection from your PlayStation and then how to get an open NAT type on Call of Duty. Now on to the video. So for right now, we're going to be setting up an account. So once you're at your main screen, what you're going to want to do is hold the PS button, go to power, and then log out of PlayStation 4. Takes a second. And then you're gonna press the PS button. Then you're gonna go to new user, create a user, accept, next. I'm gonna try to run through this as quick as possible because obviously you wanna get this done as fast as possible. You don't want this taking too long. So just follow the steps that I'm taking and uh, it should take you around i'd say like six seven minutes to do this each time but you do get 14 days for free so just go ahead and enter in what i'm entering in and just follow along and you'll be getting 14 days of playstation plus for free in no time so postal code i just use my uh a town i used to live in so 32746 it's lake mary florida so see that pop up there click next and then for this we're going to hop over to my computer because I would use I uh, used to use disposable email addresses, which would allow you to like get an email address and then immediately like never use it again and whatever, hence disposable. But they no longer work with the PlayStation Network. So we're just going to make a Gmail account and I'm going to do that on my computer. So I will meet you guys there. Now that we're on the PC, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Google account really quickly. Um, you can do this on your phone as well. So go ahead and click sign in once you're on google.com and then you'll go ahead and create an account uh, for yourself. And then first name, I'm just going to put something in there. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to go ahead and make the email. So I'm just going to do thomascodyt1 at gmail.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in a password. And then go ahead and confirm that password. So just type that same password in again. And now we're going to go ahead and click next. So go ahead and um, you don't have to put in a phone number. It says optional. Sometimes they actually uh, make you put in a phone number. So if you have to, it's fine. Just go ahead and put it in. There's no limit to how many times you can use a phone number or a Google account. Like I have multiple Google accounts with my phone number on there, so there's no limit. But for right now, it's actually saying optional. Cover email address, don't need that. So go ahead and enter in a birth date. So I'm gonna put the same one I did on the PlayStation. So January 1st, 1990. Oops, my bad, 1990. And then gender, I'm just gonna click mail because I'm not even gonna get into all that stuff. But uh, yeah, just click in mail. We don't need to talk about that stuff, um, but all right. So now we're at the terms. I'm going to click I agree, and then we have our account created. So go ahead and click Gmail once you're done with that, and it'll load up your email. So I'm going to meet you back on the PlayStation for the next step. Now back on the PlayStation, we're going to enter in that email that we just created. So I did Thomas Cod uh, YT1 at gmail.com all right now that we got that entered in i'm going to enter in a password um, and i'll be back when i'm done doing that now after you're done typing in that password it doesn't really matter whether you select these on or off because you're not actually going to be using that email as a legitimate email so go ahead and click next then go ahead and select an avatar I normally just choose the first one that pops up just to do this as quick as possible, obviously. And then I select the first suggested name. So this tactical name, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I label my accounts to keep them in order. So I just use the first name big and then I um, put them in alphabetical order. So this one's gonna be C. 
and then I just click next. Let's go ahead and scroll down and click next. Um, scroll down and click next again, and then you can just hold down on the D-pad and, and it'll take you through these nice and quickly. And then you're at the verify your uh, email address page. So we're gonna hop back over to the computer or back on your phone, whichever one you're making your email on, and I'll see you guys there. Now once you're back at your Gmail page, you should be able to refresh or it should just pop up from a uh, email from PlayStation account registration confirmation. So you're gonna go ahead and click that email and then click verify now. And then it should say that your email account was verified and then that's all you have to do on your mobile device and then we can hop back over to the PlayStation. See you there. Now that we're back on the PlayStation and we verified our email, you can go ahead and click already verified. You're going to go ahead and click next here. Then you're going to wait. And in the bottom right, it says free trial. Uh, if it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to exit out of that screen. And I'm going to show everybody else who uh, doesn't get that screen with that um, free trial in the bottom right where to go. So go ahead and follow what I'm doing for right now. And then click OK. And then it should spit you out to your main screen. It gave me an error, so uh, it was a little out of order. But you should see basically the same steps that I have. So now, if you're one of those people that didn't get that PlayStation Plus screen in the bottom uh, right for the free trial, go ahead and go to Store. Got to wait for this to load up. And then scroll down to PlayStation Plus. Go ahead and click on it. And then scroll over to the right. And then you, sh you should see something that says 14 day trial they kind of they change up the screen quite a bit but uh you should see 14 days try for free so go ahead and click that subscribe and then you don't have a uh payment method so i'm actually going to go show you guys how to put a payment method on there so in order to add a payment method you're going to go to settings account management account information Then you're going to click Wallet, Payment Methods. And then you're going to either add a valid, verified PayPal account, because if you just make a PayPal account, it might be limited. And if it has no funds in it or no access to any funds, then it they probably won't let you make uh, or use it as a payment method. So I just use a credit or debit card. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my stuff in and I'll block it out for you guys. All right, so I've got all my stuff entered in. So just put in a real card. Don't try to fake it out or whatever because it's obviously not going to recognize it. And once again, this will not charge you if you didn't get the title with the whole like free thing. <laughs> it will not charge you. I will show you guys what settings you need to turn off in a second to make sure that it doesn't charge you. So go ahead and click next. And then you're going to go ahead and type in your street address for the card. So I'll be back when I'm done with that, and obviously I'm going to be blurring this. Alright, so after you're done entering all your street address info and all that good stuff, click save. And it will say that it added your card to your account, so go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and back out of that screen. Just go all the way back to the main menu, and then go back to where we're at for store. And then scroll back down to PlayStation Plus. And then go back over to the 14 day trial and click subscribe. So once again, this is free. As you can see, it says free. And then proceed to checkout. Proceed to checkout, firm purchase. And then now I'm gonna show you the most important step, how to stop it from having that monthly subscription amount of $9.99. You don't want it charging because your renewal date will be above that. Right there, mine is December 18th, 2019. So you don't want to get charged. So go ahead and press the home button, get back to the screen, and go over to settings again, account management, account information. And then wait for that to load. And then scroll down to PlayStation subscriptions. Click PlayStation Plus And then click turn off auto renewal because you do not want it to auto renewal. And then you're going to turn it off, so click yes. And the reason 
is you want to renew manually or something i don't know just make up some stuff and then it'll give you the date that your playstation plus is going to expire so mine's going to expire december 18th 2019 for this account and then just repeat what i did in this video and then you can get this for unlimited playstation plus using the 14 day trial method so that's how you do that now you won't be charged and uh after you're done before you make another account what i would do is i would go back to uh, account information and then go to wallet payment methods then you're gonna have to type in your password and then click continue and then where your card is listed go ahead and click it and then click delete then go ahead and confirm and click yes there you go now you're definitely not getting charged your card is not even on the account anymore so it's all good and then i would make sure you remove your card each time you make an account it's not going to prevent you from making an account but if they see multiple cards on like 20 different accounts like let's say you do this for the rest of the year or something you know you you don't want to have multiple accounts with the same card because it looks quite suspicious so go ahead and delete the card some people from my previous videos on how to get free playstation plus said that it wasn't switching over to their main account so you can go ahead and try this right now and if it's working for you fantastic but if it's not go ahead and click on settings go down to account management and then activate as your primary playstation 4 so go ahead and do that i don't need to do that mine just works i don't know some people are different and then if it doesn't work then you have another playstation that has been activated as your primary so you're gonna have to figure that out so if you have somebody else's account that you activated your uh, PlayStation on you're gonna have to deactivate it or ask them to deactivate it for you or something like that now that you're all done with that the last thing to do is hold down the PS button and then go down to power click log out of PS4 and then go ahead and log back into your main account and you should be able to get online Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, uh, comment, you know, whatever. It really helps me out if you comment. So go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.